Hi, this is Kevin. Uh, today we're going to set up this printer. The first, we want to open it up and lower it, and so you can see all the ink is flow to the bottom. Now I raise the I raise the level a little bit. I raise the tank level a little bit. So now it's resting. What happened is that there are two chambers in the tank. So now the all the ink is in the lower lower chamber. So the upper chamber will be empty. So when you remove the plug you're less likely to get the ink on your hand. It's just a, just a little trick. Make sure you have something to cover your, your fingers so uh, there will be no ink explosion, especially when, when you're situated in a high altitude area such as Denver, Colorado. Uh, save those little plugs. Uh, uh, save those little plugs for future use. You might need to move this printer. But when you're actually using this printer, you don't need those little plugs. See, no ink spill. For the pair of cartridges, uh, we need to remove them from, uh, we, we need to lift this clip, just push forward, up and forward, and that will remove this uh, protective clip. Same thing for the collar. And now when you tear off the blue protective tape. And now they are ready to be inserted. Now to insert cartridge, you hold them as a pair. And make sure the cable is not twisted. You sort of, uh, uh, don't do horizontally. You sort of like sitting here, them here with the angle, pulling up, and just push it. If you find that uh, uh, the yellow, uh, the orange is a little bit hard to push, you separate. Use your finger, so separate, like a separate the, the clip a little bit. Then you do that. Uh, this is what it looks like when you after you insert it. You can see the color one or the orange one is a little, just a little tiny, little bit lower than the black one. It's easier if you start it by moving the cartridge all the way to the right it, because it's uh, if you it stop here you have to tuck this in and close the door together uh, as, without twisting it so without uh, make a kink out of it so I push all the way to the right and I close the door so to, to turn it on you push here the automatic feed the scanner open like this if you find this printer uh, always jam uh, because uh, you didn't load the paper correctly, this, this printer has a really weird way of loading paper. Okay, to load the paper correctly, what you do is, uh, uh, actually what you shouldn't do is, you shouldn't just put it in. Okay, You need to pull this whole tray out until it click. Okay, and uh, make sure this is wide enough. Now you put the paper in, you're going to feel the paper is stopped by something. Okay, when you feel it is stopped, you push the whole tree back. You can hear the, the printer has a beeping sound. That means you loaded the paper correctly. Uh, as far as the how to install the drivers and uh, how to set up your network, if you have any problems, please call Canon and uh, they should be able to help you. This is a brand new printer and uh, they are more specialized in uh, their software and hardware. And uh, uh, we don't have any Mac, Mac experience, so we really don't know how it run, runs on Mac. And uh, if you have a uh, like Windows incompatibility, it's better to call Canon than us. You can print another check by go to control panel and uh, device and printers. And then right click on the printer you just installed, go to printing preference, and go to the printer. And then maintenance, the nozzle check, and then you click on print check pattern. Most nozzle check will come out nicely. Let me show you one example if the nozzle check come out less desirable. So here we are missing a bunch of colors. 
if it's something minor, uh, just go to control panel and uh, go uh, uh, deep cleaning and uh, then clean all the cartridges. In this example, uh, the first cleaning did a pretty good job that uh, uh, still we have some missing colors. So we're going to take out uh, the emergency repair tool that's included in the package. Uh, do this over some old newspapers. You're going to have a, a clip, uh, although you're going to get the same color. You can see one of them rubber slot is longer, one of them is shorter. And uh, the longer one in here is the green one. That's for the black. And the shorter one, shorter slit, is for the uh, color cartridge. I'll put this on the color one first. So you center it, press it down and forward. Now you flip the cartridge over and use the included syringe to draw inks into the syringe. Now you can see there are lots of air bubbles and that's what you removed. And uh, then just use a paper towel to wipe clean the surface. Now we're going to do the same thing for the black cartridge. You only got a one clip and a two silicon pads. So now you need to swap the silicon pads to work on the black. If you don't feel any suction, it's probably you're using the wrong pad because the uh, black pad is longer. Okay, so fixed. Now you need to go to your local restaurant and ask them if they can give you a free lunch if you print hundreds of their menus for them. You're gonna see the ink level coming down. Uh, however, that's actually the printer estimate ink level. Uh, the printer doesn't know how much ink left in the cartridge. And uh, so it just uh, count the number of pages you print it. You got a big ink tank and uh, you got tube goes into the cartridge. But the Canon doesn't know that. So um, you need to turn the ink level monitor off. Uh, however, you cannot turn it off uh, anytime. You have to, you only can turn it off after the the page counter goes to the max, and that's ink level shows depleted. So you need to ignore all the low ink warnings, just like me, just keep printing until one day you uh, run over the limit. But once you run over the limit, you're going to get a 1688 or 1666 uh, errors here. Actually, if you see the ink level, <laughs> the black uh, barely uh, moves. Uh, but the computer threw a big air, so the, the red cross on the black starts to so run out. And also you get this window, uh, 1688 or 1666 window. Do not close this window, just keep it open. With that, open, with that window open, go back to, a, to your printer and hold down the stop button until you see the window disappear or you can see the LED screen and uh, change so it go back to printing and now you can print happily ever after for the black and uh, it will do the same thing for the color and they only do once in the cartridge lifetime so um, you just keep printing and printing and printing forever and ever and ever and ever and now you check your ink level at the external tank this is how much ink I used to print that stack of paper and now we try to run the color cartridge down. You can see from the window, uh, the black is grayed out. That means you turn off the monitor. The color is not. The color has a yellow exclamation mark on the top. That means it's still going with low ink, sort of low ink. Okay. Okay, check ink 1688. Okay, I already told you earlier how to do it. Hold down the stop button until it's back. Uh, with both unit monitors turned off, now I just run it down and run some ink level down so I can show you how to refill it. Here we open up the tank and then we remove the, the larger plug, which is the refill plug. 
and uh, now we squirt ink in. Uh, you want to raise the, the, the tank a little bit so you don't want uh, all the ink coming down while doing this. And that's about it. And uh, put a large lock back and uh, you're back to printing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers. Time for lunch.